We're reviewing Pebio Vitrail Transparent Glass Paints. I've bought these two sets which are a sort of introduction sets. Give you plenty of paint um, to try out but it comes in these little 20 milliliter bottles. They do go a long way. Uh, this one has six colours in it and this one has 12 colours in it. After taking out the duplicates, I was left with 14 colours, which we will now look at. Here's my colour chart I made. Uh, a few things to note. White, black and gold really aren't transparent, but that's nothing to do with the brand. That's the same with every brand. I did find a couple of the colours gave slightly cloudy looking finishes uh, particularly this Palmer and the sky blue not necessarily wrong it's a, a look some people really like but it isn't the clear transparent which you do get with other colors it look good in some situations the other thing to note is some of the colors are very strong uh, this deep blue here very strong when you use it flood fill which this chart was made of using a flood fill technique that's not transparent I did however manage to lighten it with the uh, vitrail light lightening medium which is just basically a clear glass paint uh, that's got a third of the lightning medium in it that's got 50% of the lightning medium in it and it does turn it into a transparent color I would do that with a few of the colors the brown the deep blue um, maybe even some of these greens and turquoise if we take a look at a example I did earlier let me put a white sheet under that so you can see it now that I've used the flood fill technique on and you can see I have lightened the deep blue and I also lightened the brown as well better if I put it the right way up I'll put another image of that up so you can see it clearer I've also used the red and orange and the black as you can see which isn't transparent but makes a nice flood fill paint but a bit of flapping around lightening some of the colors so when they use flood fill they are still transparent it does also make a very good paint for 3d work now this is where the thickness of the color or the strength of the color I should say pays dividends because you're, you're doing a very light covering on 3d objects but as you can see from this it's giving a really nice strong colors again I've used one of the greens with a, a tad of lemon yellow orange and red for the actually crimson I think for the roses I will just show you the paint as I say I've got the little 20 milliliter bottles it goes a long way normally it's sold in this size bottle 45 milliliters and I believe you can also get a 250 milliliter which if you're like a professional glass painter and you get through a lot that would be great even I would be tempted to buy the clear for lightening them in the 250 mil bottle because I think I'm going to get through a lot of it so let's take a look at the paint it's a nice flowing paint but it will give good coverage even on 3d objects as you can see there it's flowing very nicely good strength to the color find my cloth bit of tissue to clean my brush 
And being a nice flowing paint, it blends well. I'm using the same colours as the one above which is already dried and hopefully you can see it will give a nice blend of colour over a little time. There we go. So in conclusion this is a very nice paint little bit of flapping around got something in it there little bit of flapping around lightening some of the colors and some of the colors a little bit cloudy but I'm going to persevere with it I really like it when they get it right it's a really good transparent color and more importantly it does blend with the fantasy colors which are also done by Pebio and the fantasy prism the fantasy moon and this color together get some really good effects enjoy your glass painting